Hello everyone, this is Ashish. Welcome back to the channel Talk4712. On this channel, every now and then, we talk about some of the most essential tips and tricks and strategies when it comes to competitive examination. Today, we are going to talk about one year strategy for exams like GATE, Engineering Services, ISRO and BARC. But the elemental principles of this strategy will be applicable for any competitive examination in this country. So I've prepared a very good plan for you guys. You can take a look over here and one by one, I'm going to explain things in a very simple manner in a strategized manner so that you understand and are able to implement it this is a very practical and logical plan this is what i used back in my days when i was preparing for exams like gate isro barc all those exams and i think my experience can help you guys to understand how you can proceed with your preparation so take a look at the screen now all right so this whole strategy has three most important principles number one i call it the competitive examination tripod the second one is balance between concept and practice and the third one is going to be your three important weapons so one by one i'm going to be discussing this these i'm going to be discussing now this i'll be discussing at the end so let's get into it one by one so that you understand the whole concept then we are going to fabricate a plan for you okay so first we are going to discuss about what is this tripod basically preparation for any competitive examination has three most essential elements the syllabus completion the revision and test series. These three forms the elemental base of your competitive examination preparation. And if any one of these goes, then the whole tripod falls. We don't want that. So understanding this first is very, very important because based on that only, I'll be having your 12 months plan over here. So that is why I'm explaining these things. The second thing is that most of the aspirant of exams, they confuse between concept and practice. Some focus too much on concept and just completely neglect the practice part and some just directly without building the concept they jump into the practice part both of them will be hazardous for your final preparation so we don't want that all right with that we are going to get into our 12 month strategy and as you can see i've divided these 12 months into four phases and these phases i've named the first phase is going to be called majors the second phase is called minus the third phase is going to be called revision phase and the fourth phase is going to be called the execution phase now understand things properly the first phase is going to be your time in february march april and may the initial part of your preparation now you always start with your major subjects you have to understand that because major subjects will be having majority of the marks that is coming on coming up in your competitive examination so a lot of people don't really understand what is major subject so major subject will be four to five subject in your independent branch which is going to comprise somewhere around 50 to 60 percent of the marks that is going to be in your examination also these will be having large number of questions and also these will be asking questions which are from in-depth basics so you'll have to study these subjects in a better manner now any branch of science or engineering will be having some basic subjects for example in mechanical engineering we are having strength of material now few subjects which are derived from that would be machine design or for example if you go to thermodynamics then the subject which is derived from that would be refrigeration and air conditioning or you can say power plant engineering to some extent ic engine so these are derived subject and this is going to be your basic subject so we are going to call these subjects as minor subjects and these subjects as major subjects now major subjects are important to be covered first both for you to understand minor subjects and because it will give you a good boost if you have finished that first so our first phase will be comprising of completing four to five major subjects that we are having since we are focusing to Towards competitive examination like gate isro and bark so we are going to solve gate previous year question on spot and you will have to try your best to solve engineering services previous year questions as well if you cannot solve it while you're covering the subject then what you can do is do that in your revision phase now there are two terms that i'm going to be discussing over here number one parallel revision and the second one is going to be cyclic revision both of them are very very important like i said the three legs of the tripod one of that is revision and it is very important for you to retain whatever you have studied because this is a year-long process and you don't want to forget things along the way now in first phase like i've already said that you'll have to focus on concept there's no running away from that 
if you do not have the concept you will not be able to solve the questions at the end of the day or on the day of the examination so you cannot compromise with that now once your first phase is over and you are getting into june july and august you should be having a target that four to five of my major subjects are over and once that is done we can get into minor subjects like i said the subjects which are derived from the major subjects and that is what you are going to be focusing on but it is very important for you to revise things parallelly and over here also i have written that parallel revision after one subject is complete what does that mean let us say i cover a subject a and for competitive examinations like gate examination one subject is going to take close to 30 days to 45 days not more than that if you're covering from proper resource so if you are done with that in let us say the month of march then in the month of april when you're covering subject b then what should happen parallelly is a revision of subject a i've made a lot of videos especially on parallel revision and cyclic revision i'll link it down in the description box so that you can get a better idea so you should not completely forget about subject a when you're covering subject b in a similar manner when you'll be covering subject c then subject b and subject a should should not be completely forgotten and they should be parallelly revised similarly when you're covering subject d then this revision continues so this is another thing why you should be starting with major subject because major subjects are more important and you can see that there will be more number of revisions for major subjects okay now in the second phase you will have to cover minor subjects always pay attention towards gate previous year questions what you will be doing is you are going to cover a particular chapter of a subject and immediately go and solve all the gate previous year questions and you should try your level best to solve the engineering services previous year questions as well if you are not able to solve it right then when you are doing this parallel revision you can solve esc previous year questions at that time because it will be working as your revision as well and will be covering it i've made a full video why solving engineering services previous year question is very important for gate and uh, engineering services aspirant both regardless especially for the core branches all right now we are going to get into the third phase but before that you can see that over here you can see something called cyclic revision so people who are having their preparation going very good they can start cyclic revision from august onwards now what is the cyclic revision basically i've made a video on cyclic revision but in short i can say that cyclic revision will be revising your subjects based on subject wise test series so you are having two subject wise test series for a particular subject let us say theory of machine you are having two subject wise test series so this is one week all right one week time so in the beginning of the week, you are going to give one subject wise test series of theory of machine. You are going to find your weakness, work on your weakness and give the second test of theory of machine. If you do it like this, then you are definitely going to find improvement in your marks and that is what we want because you worked on your weaknesses so this can be started that means basically subject wise test series can be started from august onwards if your preparation is going slow then you can start from october also but in my time of preparation i did start in july itself so it depends on which level of preparation you are at if you want the best start as fast as possible because you have started covering subjects and completing syllabus from february itself so the major subjects which are over you should definitely start giving subject wise test series for that now october and november this is high time people who are having their preparation very good their minor subjects will be over and those who do not have that good amount of preparation their minor subjects will be continued to complete and definitely from now you are going to completely get into cyclic revision mode give as many test series as possible so that is it if your preparation is good the number of revisions that you are going to give is going to be better and thus your performance is going to be good so first in the first phase and the second phase we basically covered the syllabus completion in the second phase in the third phase we are getting more and more into revision and in the third phase we are completely going to get into test series and that is what you are getting in phase four the execution phase in the fourth phase what you are going to do is focus much more on practice now it is time for you to use whatever you have learned you have completed the syllabus you have given subject wise test series of different subjects now it is time for you to mix all of those what ultimately you are going to do on the day of the examination so what you need right now is to give a lot of full length test series and it is important for you to start giving full length test series from december onwards itself so that you can improve much more in your final score so you'll 
will do that and apart from that we are going to highly focus on practice so whatever previous year question that you have not solved if gate previous year question is done engineering services previous year question is done then you can fo focus on isro previous year question psu previous year question and some of the civil services technical previous year question if you can find star mark previous year questions so when you'll be solving gate and engineering services previous year questions some of the complicated questions you are going to put star mark on that now those are the questions that you are going to be revising over here by solving fresh over there so this is the whole plan of 12 months that you are going to follow now if you, if you look at it properly then you'll see that initially i'm focusing more on concepts and as time proceeds i'm focusing more on practice and that is the very balance of practice and concept now the balance is that it is not like you have to do that simultaneously first you are going to focus more on concept in the initial phases so that is why i said that it is very important for you to solve gate previous year questions in the initial phases as well because these are conceptual questions and then we are going to move towards engineering services previous year questions or test series questions so those are the things that are going to give you a lot of practice and as the concepts builds during the february to june the concept builds we are going to focus more towards revision and practice revision and practice but it is very important for you to have that good base initially as well otherwise i have seen a lot of people who just practice without building a very good concept then what they ultimately do is mugging up a lot of questions and that is not going to help you to perform good or qualify examinations so that is a balance that you should understand and beyond a certain point a lot of people beyond october also november also they keep on revising their class notes just to brush their concept that is not required right now what you need to do is focus more on practice so it is a line or a border that you have to understand that beyond this i have to focus more on practice because both are important none of them can be compromised and you have to do equal good amount of job in doing both of them you have to have good practice because ultimately you have to perform and solve numericals on that day of the examination and you have to have concept because without that it is not possible for you to solve a lot of numericals all right i'm going to conclude this video by the third most important element and that is with starting with this line that this is a war and is won just like any other war so any other war will be requiring you to understand your advantages your disadvantages will require you to understand a particular strategy will require you to follow that strategy and will require the execution will require some of the weapons that you are good at and over here just like anything else the weapons will not be physical one it will be mental one that is the most difficult one to master and over here the three most important things for competitive examination i've done that for three years myself i've been guiding people for the last three years and i know that these are the ones that actually decides whether you are going to qualify examination or not this is a diagram of a gun that i made so it is not that good but we'll do the job all right let's get into it the number one is the continuity i've made multiple videos on how to maintain continuity but basically you'll have to have a plan that is this one this is a long term plan then you'll have to have a medium level plan as well and then you'll have to have a daily routine that is to do list as well if you have all of those then you'll be able to maintain continuity persistence is basically mental you'll have to understand that to achieve any target it does not happen overnight you'll have to work continuously in a routine and regularly for a long duration of time you cannot look at short term goals and short term results you'll have to understand the bigger picture and have to stay persistent the last but definitely not the least it is going to be sacrifice guys it is a difficult journey there is no doubt in that and you will have to sacrifice and compromise with a lot of things you cannot balance everything so if you want to go out with your friends on your weekends or you want to go out on those long trips and your holidays then it is not going to work out if you are ready to make those sacrifices then you are ready for this competition otherwise it is not going to be working out for you you will have to go through this brutal journey it lasts for one year if you are ready for that then go for it you will have to do all these things properly and just knowing the plan is not sufficient i know that these videos that are having plans of one year plan six month plan a lot of people are going to watch it and barely one percent of them are going to apply it i know this because i've seen the cycle for two to three years so please do apply it prepare this plan stick it on your wall 
and follow it that is the most important thing force yourself to follow this plan trust on this plan this is how i've done and that is why i'm sharing it over here and that's about it guys if you like this video hit the like button if you're new over here these kind of videos comes every now and then when i'm discussing things about competitive examination so you can subscribe if you think that some of your friend can be helped out of this then definitely share it to that person and thanks for watching i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye